$1,038.67 in one year. I'm a college student. I shouldn't be spending that much on Amazon. So with Amazon Prime Day gone and behind us, I know a lot of my friends and family members all bought something on that day and it made me th start thinking like, wow, we use Amazon a lot. Um, and it's so like quick, like impulse buys that you're just like, ah, oh, I could use this, I could use this. I know I'm definitely guilty of that. Um, especially when something's under like 50 bucks, you're just like, oh, well, let me just Amazon Prime it. And you don't put the thought into it as you used to. Or if you go to the store, you have that time to be like, do I really need this? Or am I just like, am I just in the like, I want, I want, I want stage of consumerism? Um, trust me, like, I love buying things and I'm definitely, you can tell I get packages all the time from my mom and it's probably my favorite thing ever. But I was just kind of curious like how much I've spent on Amazon, like in total. And so I found out there's this really cool thing which I'm going to show you guys in today's vlog so you can keep yourself in check or maybe just find out how awesome you are at not saving money. Um, anyway, I think it's just cool and I'm definitely all about seeing how my money spent over time. So let's jump to the computer guys and I'll show you guys the cool little trick. Okay guys, so let's get this kicked off. Let's go ahead and open Google Chrome up. And then we're going to go to Amazon.com. Okay, now that we are on Amazon.com, I'm going to come down to the accounts and list and then choose your account. Okay, now we are on this page. We're going to go ahead and scroll down, go to ordering and shopping preferences here and select download order reports. And I'm going to go ahead and log in. And now on this page is where we can request order reports. You can do some quick set options here, the last month, the last 30 days, the last year, and the year to date. So I'll go ahead and click that. That will give me everywhere from January 2017 to July 2017. Then I'm going to go ahead and drop this all the way back to 2013 because that's when I started using Amazon Prime. Um, or should be before that or after that date, so I'm not really worried about it. And then we'll set this up as the YouTube video data one. And then we'll go ahead and request report. Okay, so that's going to load. Then the page will refresh and give us our options here and it will auto download here. Now I share this Amazon account with my mom um, because she uses it mostly. So I went ahead and already opened one with just my data on here. Um, so I went ahead and I filtered it using Excel's filtering, but you could just go to your downloads folder, go ahead and open it up and you'll see it here. Um, and so now if we come over to this column right here, it's titled item total. Um, if we look down this entire list, this is everything we've purchased. And as you can see, this is from eight to 16. That was my first purchase on this account. So that was last August, um, about a year now. And so to sum these all up, because they don't give you a total, we're going to go ahead and come down to this row. Um, any cell will do, but this one is the one I'll choose. I'll hit equal, and then I'll type, type in capital S-U-M, or sum. You can either choose it in the function list or your most recently used, so I'll click that. Now, I have these rows segregated a little bit differently because I filtered them. So to make it so that mine works, I'm going to have to go ahead and click each of these cells individually like that. But you, um, if you don't share the account with anybody or you just want to see the total ever bought, just go ahead and select and drag all the way down and that's going to select all your rows. But because if I do that, I'll total my mom's stuff in there too. So I'm just going to go ahead and select one row, command, and click all the other ones. Okay, then once we get down to the bottom, we'll hit enter, and it's going to go ahead and give us a total right here. So I've spent $1,038.67 in the total year, which is absolutely crazy, guys. $1,038.67 in one year. I'm a college student. I shouldn't be spending that much on Amazon. And they're all made up of $5 purchases, 
and seven dollar purchases. And yeah, I have these two eleven and two forty nine, which is when I got into vlogging, and that was the microphone and stuff like that. But this is still absolutely ridiculous. Like seven, five, fifteen, thirty, they all add up to make a thousand dollars. That's absolutely crazy, guys. But yeah, that's how you do it, guys. Um, so yeah, go ahead and check it out. Okay, guys, so there it is. That's how much I've spent, a total of $1,038. That is absolutely ridiculous. And that's only from August of last year. So basically a full year, I spent $1,000 on Amazon. And I'm a college student. Imagine how much some people spend. That's absolutely ridiculous. Man, that makes me like kind of take a reality check about how much I spent. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and close the vlog off here today. Thanks everybody for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed my little reality check. And maybe you guys will understand how much you guys spend now and maybe improve your financial situation a little bit. So make sure to send good vibes out in the world, guys, because you never know who could need it. And I will see you guys in tomorrow's vlog. See you then.